Welcome to the first instalment in our new series revolving around AIS and marine information. Today, we will be covering what AIS is, and how it can be used, as well as the differences between a standalone receiver, a transponder or transceiver. Let's begin by understanding what AIS or Automatic Identification System is. AIS is a real-time tracking system that allows ships to exchange important information, helping sailors, captains and maritime authorities keep an eye on vessel movements. AIS operates on VHF radio frequencies to broadcast a ship's data, including the position, ship size, ship type, speed, course and destination. This information is received by other vessels, coastal stations and even satellites. Like VHF radio, AIS works at the line of sight distance. This means that the working distance of AIS is largely determined by the height of the transmitting and receiving antennas, as well as environmental factors. This is where an AIS receiver or transponder will come into play. With a receiver such as our AO26, you will be able to view AIS targets that are within a specific range which is dependent on the receiver and also antenna placement and quality. This will enable you to see a vessel's name, MMSI, dimensions, speed and course on a relevant chart plotter or application such as OpenCPM. This setup is ideal for sailors performing short, coastal or inland trips. However, for larger vessels or sailors crossing large or busy bodies of water, a transponder is highly recommended as not only will you be able to see nearby vessels as with an AIS receiver, but other vessels will also be able to see you. Now, it can be daunting when it comes to transponders as there are many different classes and types. A class A transponder is designed for use within larger commercial ships or cruise liners, whereas a class B transponder, such as our AO51T, is used on smaller or recreational vessels. You will also find Class B Plus options, which can be used in the same application as Class B, but offer a greater range and stronger signal strength. However, they have a higher power output of 5 watt compared to 2 watt for Class B. There are also many different Class B options out there, offering different input and output solutions. With our AF51T offering a wide array of functions, high performance and stability. With our AF51T, not only can you receive and transmit AIS and GPS data, you can also connect a further NMEA0183 device, for example a wind sensor, and the af one team will multiplex all of this information together and output it across a Wi-Fi network on a tablet running OpenCPN for example, as an NMEA0183 output to a chart plotter, or into an NMEA2000 backbone to relevant plotters or instruments, and also USB. Another point to consider is that an active splitter is also crucial when an AIS transponder is fitted in conjunction with a VHF radio to ensure the safe usage and consistent operations of both the transponder and the radio. Due to this, here at Quarkalec we are also designing not only a Class B+, which will be known as our AF52T transponder, but also a Class B+, with integrated splitter, known as the AF53T. One final important step is to check your local country's legal requirements, as some countries require certain kinds of vessels to be fitted with a transponder. As always, stay safe and happy sailing!